Hey guys, my name is Theo Leroux and I'm from Capo Cafe Coffee Bar. On this video, we are tasting another coffee. Today we are tasting the Bean There from Kenya. Bean There, a company in South Africa based in Johannesburg and they've got a branch in Cape Town as well, is part of the fair trade. So they fair trade coffee internationally and they've got almost all the coffee, the registered coffees from the world. Do go and check them out. I'll put a link in the description so you guys can check them out. So if you would like to understand more about cupping, we have a video, I'll link it in the description down below, where I explain how many grams of coffee, water, and the whole process of cupping. Not gonna go through everything again, because we wanna just get to the tasting and get it done with. 10 grams of coffee for 200 mils of water. Kenya, very, very, very nice coffee. Grows at an altitude of anything between 1,200 and 2,000 meters above sea level. Very fruity, one of the origins of coffee that likes to do natural dry process coffees. Now natural dry process just means we don't take the skins off by washing it, we leave it to dry out like raisins, then we take it off and from there obviously we roast the coffees, grind it and make it. So because of the natural dry process, it leaves a lot of fruity flavors inside the coffee. Now being there says that the aroma is berry-like. It has got a vibrant acidity and a fruity caramel flavor. So we'll see if we can pick up on the fruitiness, what types of fruits. And of course, just behind the tip of your tongue, you'll be picking up on that caramels or the bitter flavor of the caramel, which would be on the back of the palate. So we'll just give it a little bit more time to, to bloom. Now the blooming process is just for the water and the coffee to fuse nicely. I fuse on around about two and a half to three minutes just to get a beautiful flavor in there. And then we do the cupping. Let's fast forward a bit. There we go, two and a half minutes. Let's break that crust. Before breaking the crust, very, very sweet. Definitely a mixed berry or maybe even a wild berry aroma there. Very, very nice. I like that fruitiness coming out of coffee. So by the looks of the bean and the smell of the aroma, I'm going to say that's just before medium roast. It's still got some nice light colors, nice and dry, not very oily and definitely well roasted. No roasty bits. I think this is gonna be gorgeous. So let's get the spoon in there. Woo! Very, very vibrant acidity. I would say, about an eight out of a 10 acidity. 7 to 8 out of a 10. But this acidity doesn't linger very long, which is nice. So if, you, if you're not into sour coffees or into very fruity, citrusy coffees, then this one is fairly acid on the side of the palate, but then it disappears really, really fast and then only the flavors stay behind. It's got the, the sweetness of a blueberry and the dryness of a blackberry. It's a very unique uh, flavor for Kenya. So well, well roasted guys, well roasted. I would say the body's about a six, maybe a seven out of 10. This in an Americano and an espresso, it's gonna be phenomenal. In a cappuccino, it might be a little bit on the weaker side. So if you're into strong cappuccinos, I wouldn't think this is the best place to go, 
But this black with no sugar, it's going to be gorgeous. Now, of course, always remember the moment you add sugar, you're not going to be picking up on all of the flavor notes because sugar is very overwhelming in flavor. <sighs> flavor notes, side of the tongue, the acidity, I would say is like the skin of a grapefruit. It's kind of that bitter sour, which is gorgeous. Tip of the tongue. <sighs> Definitely blueberries, and maybe even the texture of blackberries. A bit dry, but very, very nice. Then the bitter elements, which would be the back of the tongue. Ah, oh, yes, no, definitely a nice brown sugar flavor. Not too, like, the bitterness is not roasty, yet it's got a bit of the wood, the wood on the back. I would definitely rate this a great coffee. Good job being there. I really like your Kenya coffee. Now I will, as I mentioned, put a link in the description down below for being there. You guys can go and check them out in Johannesburg or if you're in Cape Town, in Cape Town. And um, yeah, support them. Remember, we make these videos so that you could love coffee more and hopefully drink more coffee. So guys, if you're watching this, I really appreciate it. Please give us a thumbs up and um, if you've not watched the rest of our videos, do go and check out the rest of our videos. And if you enjoy it, please hit the subscribe button. We really appreciate that. And remember to hit the little bell notification so you can get notified every single other time we upload. So good job being there. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you on the next tasting.